Greetings and welcome to episode 9 of my Napoleon Total War 3 France campaign and this my friends after the last time when we've got a terrific possible battle here in Munich. Now there is a chance that we will demand a surrender here and there's every chance they might do that because of course they are outnumbered and we also had a massive battle in Milan the previous episode and that battle was lost and that battle as the council has pointed out a number of council members have pointed out that was probably lost to my to my tactical errors and there were a number looking back i did a huge number of tactical errors first of all the artillery was placed in the wrong position on the flanks at the center secondly i had the left flank which was could have pushed in really aggressively and it just left hanging there in the open i made another couple with my cavalry instead of using the cavalry i had the cavalry attacking the artillery and picking it off which we did successfully however I then sent the cavalry for some unknown reason into the firing line of both myself and also of the Austrians which is an absolutely ridiculous move by myself and effectively wiped out all our cavalry so a huge number of tactical mistakes on my part I wasn't aggressive enough either so I need to address those take the council's advice absolutely to heart here and make sure that we do this correctly now if we are going to fight this battle here and if they are going to stand the Austrians they are up against a terrific army here or armies should I say absolutely packed to the rafters with the finest French troops as you can see yourselves here effectively all grenadiers we have line infantry but they're veterans that's the difference we've also got a lot of additional sort of those select elite line infantry units as well which really are packing a punch we've also got our own 12 pounders We've got some six pounders here as well, and eight pounders of Dutch twelve pounders. We've got the chasseurs a cheval de la garde as well, like to cavalry. Look at that, grenadiers a cheval here, heavy cavalry, the absolute epitome here of wonderful cavalry. And also we've got hussars as here. We've got Napoleon himself. We've also got the balloon here, which allows us to effectively open up the entire battle. We can see all the enemy. The balloon just is this wonderful sort of intelligence resource. And also we've got De Vaux here as well, who is just, again, packed with Dutch and Belgian troops here, which are being brought into the fray. Look at the Mamluks here. They've, they've, they have got a huge amount of experience. The same here for these. So we started to gain quite a lot of experience now in these troops. But I'm wondering if they'll surrender here. Again, they've, they've got a lot of artillery. <clears throat> and they do have some lot of light infantry militia. Some grenadiers. Only one lot of grenadiers, but they've got lot of cavalry as well. And the general here is not to be sniffed at at all. A reasonably proficient general here. Nothing of nothing of Napoleon's calibre or even of Defoe's. We've got two of our finest generals here. Let's demand surrender here. I see that it's worked. It has to that. Now, now, the council has absolutely pushed quite hard for us to actually liberate this region. So give this region to effectively is the Konkrieg Bayern Munich. So effectively Bayern Munich to liberate them to allow them to become their own independent nation but the protectorate of France. So I think we're going to take that advice. It would also free up these two armies to do a huge amount of damage. A huge amount of damage. You probably hear in the background my friends a lot of noise you might know what that might be. But before that begins in earnest we're going to liberate here. Oh, so Bavaria is now a protectorate of France. We've got our own, but these two armies, more importantly, are free up. They do have some Bavarian line infantry here with that. The morale is not the best, is it? Let's be honest here. Mind you, that is a, that's a decent line infantry there. But we've got these two here. Now look at these. Bavarian French grenadiers and Bavarian French line infantry. Look at that. Now these, this gentleman, I'll definitely want them in here. Now Devo, as you can see, is missing a unit. <clears throat> now look at that, that's packing a punch here, this army now, look at that. Now what do we oui. do with this army here? Because it's a protectorate of ours now, I'm not sure if they can go through Munich here, because Munich's now become an independent region as it were, but a protectorate of ours. So we might be able to move against them here, I wonder if we can move against Innsbruck, that would be fantastic. But We've also been caught, well, actually, before we go westwards, let's have a look southwards here at Milan. Look at that, it's taken an absolute beating, this army. Look at that, they've been absolutely hammered here. But then again, so has the Austrians. 
Look at this, they're down to 36 men, 35 troops, 97 men here, but we've also managed to pull in three additional four-line infantry ready to re as reinforcements. That's going to make a huge difference here to the, this battle. If we use them correctly, I've got to use them correctly. Look at that, Munition rises to Bavaria. Absolutely fantastic. And they've surrendered Munich to ourselves. Napoleon, there he is, sir. That's a fact. That's a battle we're gonna have to take. We might not take this battle straight away. We might wait. I'd like to try and take Innsbruck and potentially push down into these regions and try and move into the south, south of Italy here and effectively take Venice and really hammer home here and hit hard because we've got Stuttgart is fairly well defended as you can see here. And the Jean Ians here, or Jean Ians, I, th uh, Jean Ians, I think is how you pronounce the name. I do apologise if it's wrong, my friends. But I'd like to, I'll also, also going westwards here, we have to be careful, we have to be careful of Wellington landing. Now the council has also said Wellington will definitely land at some point, you need to be careful. Now Paris is at the moment still being reinforced, as you can see we've got a quite a, a massive cavalry force here, led by uh, Joachim Murat, who of course is an absolute master on cavalry, and I think Excuse me a second, my friends. You know what that might be. So that, my friends, what I think what we need to do is also is increase the number of troops. We've got Wellington coming in here and landing. He's going to hit, hit Paris probably pretty hard, and might even hit the Dutch. Another couple of council members saying that they, in a similar campaign, they the Dutch were pretty hard. Pretty, they hit the, the Dutch hard as Wellington. But the Dutch do have, thankfully, have got a good complement of troops here, and they're also increasing their holdings here quite nicely now they're an ally of ours so they might come to our aid even but as you can see the Dutch are worried about what the Prussians are doing because they've put an army on the border between the two what's the relationship between the two here they're allies with Spain of course but they're at war with nobody else here they are the trade partners with the Prussians which is good to see the more trade that comes in here, the more trade we also get out of it, as you can see here. Imagine we're not getting very much, they're getting... Actually, we, actually we, we are getting quite a bit. Actually, we're the highest trade partner of theirs, which is good to see. But of course, with different ports being hit here as well by the, by the British, it's going to hurt quite a bit. Now, I think we'll just increase our grenadier count here, just one more here. But also, I think what we will do is you can see we've got this general here, he's just sat here idle here at the moment, this Bernadome. Well, I think we'll send him to Reims and we'll start putting another army together here in Reims. Got the Champagne. I think that's what we'll do. And I think we'll also just start that off. We'll send gentlemen. We'll send the Bavarian French Line Infantry. That's the first regiment to join them in Reims. It's a long trip. We've also got Stuttgart here, which is going to be very important to us. Does Paris have cobbled roads here? Let's have a look. It, oh, we're putting that back down roads. That's going to be, look at that, plus 12. Plus, plus 12 percent of retention rate. Wow. What about Strasbourg here on the front line, as it were? What's that going to give us? Plus eight replenishment rate in the region. And what about Torino? Would it be worth investing in Torino infrastructure? Because that would increase our replenishment rate. It's going to take eight turns. My goodness me. I don't want to invest. Also, the council saying we should use Marseille also as a recruitment area and send troops around here through Nice and into to, to Torino here. Because if, I, if we do lose Milan, we'll have to fall back to Torino. But ultimately, I want to take Innsbruck here. If we could take Innsbruck and then perhaps move down south and sort of really start a push in hard here in this uh, sort of northern Italy. Maybe even take Venice and open up the port here as a shipyard here in Chico, in Chiogia. Chiogia. Oh my goodness, my, my pronunciations are terrible. There's Trist here as well. I might even open up Zagraz, Zagreb, even Vienna. But it's a protectorate of ours. So there it is there. We don't have trade with them. And look at that. Right, let's open up a trade here. Yes, of course, sir. Uh. That's more like it.
also the cows are saying that we should start using some of our ships here to sort of look at that ivory there. Now ivory, if I'm not mistaken, is actually through the roof, and it is 53 there for the ivory. If that trade port here is, if this trade node is open here, we're going to take it. This trade post, it is. Look at that, a thousand there already. We've got to be careful of Britain down here as well. But I think there's a Spanish fleet right in and around here somewhere, which we, of course, we are hopefully is going to be still coming to our aid as it were. There's that Austrian fleet which we've got to be careful of here. But I think what we might do is take a, a ship from here. Some trade ships from here and actually try and get that over 2,000. Now that would be an absolute boom. We've balanced it out as you can see here. Because we can't get any more trade, trade ships here. That's the most we can get. Let's go look at that. 5,548. That's fantastic. The council once again come up with some wonderful advice. Toulouse and Bordeaux are okay here. Ren Reims here is calm, but we've got to be careful. We've got to focus on Paris, ideally. That musket factory that would reduce that there. That, that I think we'll go for that musket factory here, Just drawing down the costs. And also, I think we'll start to increase our presence along here as well. And also just in making sure that we've got these gentlemen here ready to move in. So when, once this battle is over, per se, actually what's the cost from Marseille of these? I don't know, oh, got great ideas there as well. Actually they're pretty cheap. They're 309, so actually they are just a little fraction more expensive. But we want to fall back upon these units or have them ready to feed into Milan. We're going to take the risk here. We're going to see what 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 the Austrians do here. If we can take, if we can hit Innsbruck with Napoleon, that's what we're going to do. But we've got to take that chance. Now it's going to hurt this garrison here because they start losing more troops. But I'm hoping the Senate here can hold on. And we've got these three regiments here. But if we can take Innsbruck, it would open up this passage here through the Alps and it would just open up we could absolutely just cut off this army here and even move on to Venice now that we've got this liberated as protectorate here as ours because that means we could start building up some more of these armies here particularly when there's Strat Stuttgart here and start moving down we could use Strasbourg as our main re uh, re recruitment centre as it were now 5548 five, still, which is excellent to see. Let's just see what happens here with Innsbruck. Let's take that chance. Now it looks like they're going to... Are they increasing the garrison here? Looks like they are. Oh, that's a, that's a powerful army there, my goodness me. Ah, that, ah right. Oh, hang on a minute. Wait a minute. Now, just wait a minute. Oh, that's going to hurt. That is going to hurt. My goodness me, pressure is so strong. That is scarily strong. Oh, that must be the prince. And Ru oh, Russia's moving in. Russia is moving in. We've got to strike here. But we need to. F oh, here they come. Looks like they're going to come and. Oh, yes, they're coming to aid. I bet you they're going to head for Milan. We've got to get down to Milan. Spain are not going to do anything for us at the moment. They're just <coughs> loitering with intent. Comment puis-je vous aider? But what I do want to know is what is in and around here. A vos ordres. Oui, milord. That army is definitely heading towards us. Let's 
just examine what's going on around here. They don't have anything back here at all. We're going to loop around here. We're going to just check Vienna. But this, we're going to, we are going to hit because they've got an army here as well, which means they must be going around here. As you can see, we're starting to lose troops here quite quickly. That's good. That's good to see. That's excellent. See, we're just starting to creep this. I think we do also need some additional artillery here. Six pounder here. I think we'll get an eight pounder. And also here as well. We've got those here, so wait for those to be completed here. That's absolutely fine, but we're gonna we're gonna punch down in here. Oh. We've got there's an army here. I wonder if they're gonna set a trap for us. If they do, it's gonna cost them dear, that's for sure. Wine estates. I think we'll increase the wine estates here just to give us that extra income. Look at that, they've opened a port here. I think we'll open this commercial port up here as well. Mind you, it's getting hit pretty, pretty hard. That's almost a trading company there. It's going to cost us a commercial port. I think we'll increase that there. Although, are there any safer ones we can use upgrade here? That dockyard there is going to give us what? 64 gunship of the line. 8. That's a monster. Oh, look at the cost. My goodness me, that's an extraordinary cost. I think we might upgrade. That was 2,000. I think we might need these ships eventually to move in and be able to tackle the British, but not at the moment. We just need to invest. And keep that income coming in here, factory here, for artillery. Anywhere else we can invest? I think we can invest in these wine estates. I think these will help to really push. What's our research doing here? Of course. course. I'm not going to throw 900 to that because of course we might, we might lose Milan. We don't want to give them that. But Orleans is almost finished here. And it's almost finished. Minus two recruitment of cavalry. Enables cavalry diamond formation. That's excellent. There it is there. I think we probably need to down to go to field ambulances here to give us a, plenish, a quicker replenishment rate. How much is that going to take us? Eight turns to get that, so I think we might do that. Only one turn here. I, I don't mean my mind just going to reduce our recruitment costs, so that's good for cavalry. That's absolutely fine. Minus so 1,200 plus three. I think we'll get a crash in this state. As you can see, we're starting to invest. I wonder if we have Brussels as well, starting to open up a little bit here. I don't think that'll do us any harm. I can have found a theatre. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. Military Academy, good grief. Oh. Oh, look at that Belgian Grenadiers, my goodness me. These are some excellent troops here if we get this military academy here in Bel in Brussels. Conscripts, Guard National. I think Brussels will probably be a much better scope for us here and maybe we should move our general into Brussels that might be a much better ploy here for us and use Ooh, Brussels as another capital here to start recruiting oh, 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 look at that militia oh Bourbon 
have one of these gentlemen for definite there. What else we got? A cheval. Oh, look at the oh, look at that. Some dragoons here. Belgian dragoons. I think we'll get look how cheap. We've got almost got all of those here. We can't get any more. We'll have to send some additional troops from Paris eventually into into Brussels. But might get some dragoons as well in here. Eventually, not yet, but eventually we'll get some dragoons in there. Also, we'll be close to our Dutch allies here as well, so it might prove pivotal, but I think we're going to strike here. Monsieur? Oh, we're at full strength Monsieur? almost here. Monsieur? We're going to strike Innsbruck. No, they're not going to surrender. Because they've got nowhere else to go. Look, we're going to move in here. We're going to protect our left flank here. We know we've got an army. There's an army here. Armes? But if we could take Innsbruck. Oh, what a fight. Look at that. Look at that army there as well. If we could take Innsbruck, we could move down into here. And we could send Napoleon down into northern Italy here. And absolutely give them a th sound thrashing. I think we're going to move in here. Les dans leur what have they got here? Now this is the general here that was uh, in and around Munich. We we kicked out of Munich here. We, oh, Le and he surrendered Innsbruck as well. I don't believe it. Oh, look at that! There they are, hidden. Well, 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 well. Oh, Archduke of Teschen, look at that. That's why they gave Innsbruck up. Now we are trapped between some very, very powerful forces indeed, Monsieur? my goodness me. We're going to pull back around here. En avant, pour la couronne et le pays. That's why they had them all. They had all of these forces ready here to move in against us here. Now that's going to be quite the fight, my goodness me. Now they have got us not hemmed in here. That would be the wrong... That'd be the wrong thing to say, but look at this, look at this army now. We've got two armies here. We oui, could monsieur. deal a massive blow here to the for the Austrians here. If we could cripple these armies here. But now we've put the ball in their court, but I think we need to take this fight here because we're losing men here far, far too quickly here. And we need to take this fight. Look how we've taken another Tyrol has fallen. But they've set that up there quite nicely. They've got all these forces here. But they've got... That's their probably the most powerful force they've got here. That's definitely the most powerful force. But now we are encamped in here. And we've got these two very, very strong Monsieur, forces in here. Oh. Let's check what's down here. Just to make sure we're not going to be caught out by there. And they've got cannon on the way as well. Which is excellent to see. And they're also upgrading here, so that means more money for us coming in. I wonder if Austria would be susceptible to a peace treaty. They probably wouldn't be, but let's see if we can just test the waters. No, I don't think they're going to be, to be honest with you. We can just test here. No. I think we have to give them a real good kicking before they do that. I really, really do. Still, and are allied with well with with them. Their Great Britain hostility is through the roof, but we're not going to get any peace there at all. Got trade with all the minor countries here. Oldenburg, no, they're unfriendly, but still. Well, we're not going to give that away, but I think we've got to take this fight here. I know that many of the council are saying, Mali, you can't really take this fight. You're going to have to retreat, but we got the way to retreat too. That's the that's the problem. We can't retreat from this battle. It's something we've just got to face. Courts of appeal. I wonder if we do get the courts of appeal here and get ourselves the infantry. I wonder if we've only got one more turn here. I wonder if we wait one more turn and then send these three additional units in. That six regiments, brand new regiments, to take the fight here to these. Imagine they might move this force in here to help. That's, that's, that 
Oh, maybe that's the chance we've got to take. Let's end this turn here. Let's see what happens. I've got a feeling we're going to have a fight here. Are they going to attack Napoleon? Are they got a chance? We've got to go around through Vienna, see. They didn't do anything. That means we can send in those additional reinforcements. Prussia is going to attack Hessen here. There they go. Here they go. Oh, that's going to be a. Oh, that's they've, Hessen have gone. Hessen have gone. That is an overwhelming force there. Russia's sending. Oh no, they're pulling out of there. Sweden, what are they going to do? Probably come along and hit one of the trade lines. No. Pontifical states. Ah, here they come. Oh, I don't believe it. They're going to help them. We should have taken that fight. Now they've got the pontiff. No, we've got the pontiff's army now. ready. Yeah, now they, they're going to be able to help those now. If we attack, they are, they've got this Pontiff's army now coming in to help them as well. Well, it's going to be an absolute menace. It really is. We might invest there, but I think we're going to start putting together another army here in Mars. No, in Torino, probably here. And I think we're going to use some forces from Marseille as well. We're going to have to put something together quite. We're going to put together a very powerful force here. To also invest in our economies, but we mustn't forget the economy at all. That includes upgrading everything we possibly can. Actually, let's get our research up to what it needs to be. We don't need an improved coppering. What we need is this here. Field ambulances so we can get a replenishment rate up much quicker. Military Academy here. Perhaps. Great Museum. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. My goodness me. Look at the morale. Great Deeds of the Moyen Guard. Oh, they the Young Guard. And the Imperial Guard. Wow. The Empress Dragoons. We need for that great museum, Arc de Triomphe. I think we'll just let the, the that army here be prepared here. Three more turns for those. A small arms factory here in Brussels as well. It'll just help us. Oh, look at that. Reduce the rate here. Well, actually, it's in. I know it's in here. I was in Flanders, so it'd be here, Reims. Which is probably not where we really need it, to be honest with you. We want to invest our economy where it's going to really make a difference. I think we'll go for the wine estates here as well. And probably a banking house here. That would probably be much more beneficial here.
Marseille is going to be an incredibly wealthy area then. It's Torino, 972. But this Pontifid, this fight is going to be an absolute brutish fight. That is an absolute brutal fight. Mes yeux sont les vôtres. Personne ne devinera. À vos ordres. Oh wait Je a minute. I wonder if we could take this army. If we can take. I wonder if we could use the Vaux here to, to rid ourselves of this army here, and we could possibly move down here and have the Vaux moving in here to help M Milan. Have Napoleon sort of effectively standing by himself, but you know, I think we need, to clear, we need to clear this army out. We really do. I think that's what we will do, my friends. Take this fight here. We've got these armies loitering around here, but they'll they can't go into Switzerland here because they're allied, we're allied with Switzerland, and they're it, Switzerland are gridding all their army. Look at that, Swiss grenadiers. Probably some of the finest you'll find. And the morale isn't brilliant, is it? Let's be honest. Got plenty of dragoons here as well. They are upgrading, which is good to see. Logging camp. We've got a lot. It's minus three still, minus seven. But look at the income there. That's inc That's a hefty amount of income. And if we attack here and move down, Monsieur, it would be nice to move one? down. <coughs> and try and help out here but this force here is going to be an absolute menace for us it really is it might be a little bit too much even with these additional reinforcements it's a shame we just can't I think that's the fight we have to take next but I think we'll take this fight for the next episode as well this will be the next fight here for us let's just see what happens we yeah that's more like it we can rid ourselves of this one here. We've still got Napoleon's army in full, f full fine fettle here. If we can remove this one from the battle map, it would at least allow us to move possibly down against Innsbruck and just effectively give Innsbruck back up and move down through into Italy. And we could do a lot of damage with Napoleon's force there. And we've got some fantastic forces here. We really, really have. But I think, my friends, I'm going to end this episode here. I know we haven't had any battles, but I just wanted to prepare. Actually, we've got we've come much further than I thought. I never thought we'd get Munich without a fight, and I definitely think we get Innsbruck without a fight. But we've got to be careful. We've got these forces hanging around here. Now, I know this has not been a battle in this particular episode, my friends, but it's, it's effectively just been preparing ourselves for what is to come. And that's the most important thing. We've got to prepare ourselves for what's to come. And I think... And I'd also like to get the council's advice. Do we, do we carry on pushing through into Italy, or do we dispose of this army here and then move sort of westward here to, to take the rest of the Austrian uh, forces because they've effectively trapped themselves in between our two armies, or do we just sort of abandon Innsbruck and then sort of leapfrog through here and into Italy and then start to really hit Italy pretty hard? We've got Bavaria now, which is sort of a region now they can't really move through because they're a protector of ours and we can start building up Strasbourg we can start building up a few other areas in and around here and use Napoleon to push Napoleon through in maybe even retake Milan if we lose it and use Milan as a base of operations for Napoleon and for Devoe here to sort of really hit the Austrians hard in this area but I'd like to get the council's advice for that if possible I know there's been no uh, battles in this particular episode I'm sorry about that my friends um, but things have been a little bit busy here as well as you might imagine. I hope you're all being very, very safe, my friends. Hope you're very careful and safe out there with the way things still are. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I thank you for all of your advice and your fantastic advice and proposals because they have moulded this campaign. As you can see here, I've taken your advice very much to heart. <clears throat> and I'm doing exactly what you have proposed, my friends. I think, you know, as long as I keep doing that, I think this this... This campaign will go far here, but we've got two incredibly powerful armies here. We can do a lot with them. Do we effectively sort of use Innsbruck as a as a as a point, so we can just leave Innsbruck alone, even if it is get, does fall again to what to the Austrians? 
I know this will seal off the Vaux and Napoleon, but at least we could push through into Italy proper, into northern Italy, and we can really do some damage to the Austrians there. Maybe if we do lose Milan, we can retake Milan and then use it as a springboard. Um, and we can also, of course, we could still then travel along the coast back up to Marseille if need be and, and move back around into the regions. But what do you think, my friends? Have we done the right thing here? Do I need to retreat back from Innsbruck? and retreat this army back let me know what you think but I'll, I'll wait for the council's advice and as always my friends thank you for all of your wonderful advice your wonderful support your very very kind words as well they really do mean a lot to me i hope you're all being very very safe whatever you do my friends as always please be safe please look after yourselves out there but until next time bye for now <laughs>